Uh, I, um... <sighs> I... I don't know anymore. I will give you $10 if you subscribe right now. That's actually not true, I lied. But subscribe anyway and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT. Of course, Shelly gives Shelly this tech news, one geek that is me to another that is you. Just a few days ago, Front Page Tech, FPT, Fapata, hit its ninth birthday. This is episode number 1097 of whatever this is. And usually around this time, the look of the show changes and it begins a new season. What would be season 10. But that's is not ready yet, so uh, consider this a, a long season nine. I'm still working on season 10. Uh, we're changing the look, obviously, but also potentially, maybe, kind of, sort of, uh, a little bit of a format change. But don't freak out, it'll be fine. All right, uh, until then, you're stuck with this. News. Alrighty, so first up for the day, story numero uno, let's first talk about Apple's AR VR headset. Not to be confused with the, uh, the glasses. Glasses and headset, not the same thing. I feel like I have to remind people of this every time, but yeah, the, the headset and the glasses are two separate products. This is what the AR VR headset will look like, and it will be very, very expensive. And this one is coming first. It's coming before the glasses. In fact, you might remember this report from last year. Mark Gurman said that Apple was planning on launching the headset in 2021 at an in-person Apple event. Obviously, that did not happen. That happened like my dad promising to come to my baseball games when I was a kid. He didn't. Anyway, yeah, so that doesn't happen. And so naturally, the, the next thing is, okay, so 2022. We can expect it this year, right? But also no to that. Apparently, now Mark Gurman says that it is delayed again. For why, you ask? Because heat. The headset seems to be facing issues with overheating during testing, which is bad because you don't want to wear a thing that's sitting on your face and have it overheat on your face. Face plus heat equals bad. I really feel like this entire past week, we just took everything that Mark Gurman had been reporting and went, yep, f all that. Because uh, his report of a glass iPad Pro redesign also isn't happening anymore. If you don't remember, Gurman had said last year that the new iPad Pro would come with a glass back. Uh, but a new report from 9to5Mac actually says that the redesign isn't happening. Instead, they say to expect the same design that we've that we done been having with a larger glass Apple logo on the back to support wireless charging. Which brings me to an exclusive that I have for you on this fine day. Uh, I hear that Apple is working on robots uh, that have assholes made out of glass. Their asshole is glass so that they sit down on a MagSafe charger to charge themselves. What? Okay, sponsor. You know what's nice? Clean balls. This episode of Fapata is sponsored by Manscaped and their Performance Package 4.0. It comes with the Lawnmower 4.0, which is their electric trimmer that features skin safe technology so you don't turn your balls into spaghetti. Oh, it also has this really cool light on it so that you can see wh wh what you're doing. They're also throwing in their brand new ultra premium body wash. Inside the Performance Package 4.0, you'll also find my personal favorites, the Crop Preserver, their anti-chafing ball deodorant, and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner and Refresh sure. <sighs> that goes on my balls. And I like it a lot. Listen, don't be an animal, okay? Shave your balls. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code FPT at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping. Manscaped.com. Use code FPT. Oh, hey, welcome back. Okay, so last up for the day, story numero lasto, I want to die. Thanks for watching. Okay, just kidding, but like for real, this iPhone 14 notch stuff has been too much. So first we heard that the notch is going away. There's not going to be a notch on iPhone 14. No, no, there's going to be a hole punch. Okay, that sounds that sounds exciting. Uh, but then like last week or the week before, we're here, no, actually, no, not a hole punch. 
Well, it is a hole punch, but it's not a hole punch. It's a pill shaped hole punch. So it's not like this. It's like this. Uh, okay, fine. We accepted that. But now it ch it's changing again. Now they, they I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. This is basically how iPhone 14 news is going right now. Stip stop, stip stop, stip stop. So first it was, it was this. And then we hear it's actually this, but now it's none of that. And it's, it's, it's this mm -hmm. now. This is what we should expect. And you may have seen this by now, hopefully. A hole punch and a pill shaped. It's both. <laughs> it's both of them. Oh, so glad about that. Oh, so happy. Oh, I was worried. I was worried that it was going to be normal. I got worried there for a second that it was going to look fine and normal. But I'm so glad that Apple is not doing that. Uh, oh, I'm glad they made it look like this. And worst of all, the, the worst part about this is that this report comes from Ross Young. And if it was anybody else who said this, I would not... I'd, I'd still have some hope and still, still hope and pray that it would not look like this. But Ross Young, you see, is 100% accurate, according to our favorite Apple Track website, Apple Track. So, yep, this is it, boys and girls. This is what we are getting. Apple, ladies and gentlemen, the top engineers, top designers in the world. And they, they came up... This is what they came up with. Okay, um... Oh, okay. Thanks. Uh, I hate it. This is literally the worst. Can we all agree this is the worst? Like, this, it's like, it goes, Betty White dies. She's dead. And then this. Whatever this is. That's the list. That's the order. This looks like whatever machine they were using to make this. Uh, it was, it was going to go ahead and put the hole punch in the display panel. Uh, but then someone accidentally bumped into it. So then it, it did this. Like, here's the display, right? Nice and flat. The the machine's just gonna go, boop. That's its one job. It just gotta go, boop. But then someone bumped it, he just went, <laughs> like that. And that's what we're getting. Oh, and you know, as if it couldn't get any worse. Also, no touch ID. Again. Oh, and you remember that rumor? It was kind of weird, but it, it was a thing. It happened. It was a rumor that was reported. It said that ProMotion would be coming to the entire lineup, like all four models for iPhone 14. Yep. <laughs> no to that one too. Ross Young reports that ProMotion will remain exclusive to the iPhone 14 Pro models. Which, I mean, listen, that's that, that's not a surprise, right? That shouldn't be a surprise. The, the rumor from before, that didn't make any sense anyway. This is the one that makes sense. And we should have never believed the rumor that said that every phone was getting 120 hertz. But you know what does hertz? This. Whatever the f this is. Yo, 